News at 6. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with an update on the COVID-19 pandemic in our region. In Olmsted County, COVID metrics such as cases, hospitalizations and deaths are down while vaccination rates are up. Noah Kaplan joins us with more on how county health officials are reacting to these uh, new trends. Noah. Tom and Caitlin, experts from the Mayo Clinic and Olmsted County Public Health met today and shared how increased access to vaccination can help drive numbers down. Thursday's briefing was short and to the point. Everything is trending in the right direction. Um, we're seeing some of the lowest numbers of new infections and deaths across the country that we've seen in many, many months so far, and in some cases since the beginning of the pandemic, and I think probably due to a variety of reasons, but vaccination uh, playing a huge role in that as well. The focus now shifting to finding out who still wants and needs vaccines that are readily available. We may have people that might be interested in vaccine if they have more information or easier access. And, and we do know that there's a, a piece of the population as well and want to acknowledge that just aren't going to be interested in vaccination. One key takeaway, COVID-19 vaccines will not disrupt children's regular immunization schedules. Kids attending summer camp and certainly for kids returning uh, back to school in the fall, it'll be really important that we make sure that uh, all of our kids are, are fully immunized against all the other um, vaccine preventable illnesses. And for children who choose to get vaccinated, like adults, they can skip quarantine. If you've got, you know, say a, a son or daughter that's going to be playing summer soccer and they're 13 or 14, you know, there's a chance they're going to end up getting quarantined and there's a chance they could end up getting COVID. And, um, but if they're vaccinated, they just go right back to practice the next day. Everything's fine and life is back to normal. 75% of eligible Olmstead County residents have received at least one vaccine dose, while 68% have been fully vaccinated. Olmstead County Medical Center continues its vaccination clinics as 400 doses were administered to 12 to 15 year olds today alone. Tom and Caitlin, back to you. Noah, thank you. Meanwhile